right on four feet should make this one and in it goes for the par he's currently tied for seventh unfortunately backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard Luke here we are at the third the tee is yours This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. From about 130 yards here. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. And he's safely on the green with that shot. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. A bit long on that one. Good chance this one. Right on six feet. Oh, what a stroke. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Currently one under for the round. We find ourselves on a par three here. to be going with the five iron the excitement it's starting you can hear it let's have a look at Jim Furyk from earlier well I wonder what happened let's return to live play now well this would be a big putt to make a birdie always nice but particularly when it's a two That's the cardinal sin, leaving it short in the heart. And this one is for his par. That was a gallant attempt. This next putt is for bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And now teeing off on this par four hole. shape with that swing to get the rhythm back this tournament's coming alive I wonder what just went down and now we go to the ninth and this happened a moment ago and this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago Is that right? I think so. 
Uh, that was a little untidy, wasn't it? Straight into the water. Even for the day. This one might need to sit. That's a good looking shot there. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Putt is underway. And that putt is hold, and that means it's back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can rebound from that. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Luke, that swing was just south of awful. Getting ready to play their third. Little extra club required going back uphill for their second shot if they want to get it all the way back to this whole location. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Putting for birdie. Hey, nice looking line. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that ensures that he's back to even par now. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Needs this one to kick right. Better bring their binoculars. Going to have a hard time seeing the hole from there. Outside chance here for the birdie. Never quite hit that. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. That's well hold. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, guys, this is Jim Furyk on the eighth, setting up his next shot. Even for the day, with a flurry, they could break into the top 20. Ooh, that almost went down. Lovely touch. Well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Not a bad line, this one. Playing from around 150 yards here. Four strokes off the lead. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. This one needs to kick left. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two-putt here is still good. Looking really good, this one. Oh, what a lovely putt to make. And with it, he moves to one under par. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot.
Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. And after a birdie at the last, we'll take the honour on the hole. Well, this is a good risk-reward hole. Looks like they're taking plenty of risk here, going for the green. Well, they got after that one right up near the surface. Good play. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. This putt is for a spot inside the top ten. Oh, nice looking putt. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. And he'll move into the top ten. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This is his third. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Heck of a round going right now for this player. Has moved well inside the top ten and continues to move up this leaderboard with nine holes left. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Yeah, nicely played. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. Looking really good. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. And let's have another look at that one. And Patrick Cantlay, currently our leader. And coming off for birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Well, you're going to need to think of your second shot already, because that one's beached. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. One of the best iron players in the game, Jim Furyk. Second shot here. Almost. And back to the course with the live action. Oh, in the fairway bunker. These are always the tough shots. Oh, well done. Got a lot of that. Coming off a string of three birdies. Opting for the nine iron. 
That's a pretty handy shot. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. They've hold it. That very gut. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Patrick Cantlay finds himself two shots clear at the top of the field. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And let's take a look at this shot from moments ago. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. This was his second. I gotta say, I'm glad we got another look. That is in there close. Let's get back to it, shall we? Sitting at four under for the day. Currently tied for second. Going with the nine iron, I think. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. A bit short with that effort this putt right on 12 feet to the hole Steady now. Bogey putt coming up here. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And that's a little disappointing. Dropping some spots on the leaderboard. You've arrived at a par four. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. And this was Jim Furyk's effort from just a short time ago. Third shot now. Let's return to live play now. Taking aim from about 220 yards out. Just three back from the leader. That's heading into the rough, I think. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. <laughs> that was wonderfully done. Eight feet to the cup. Don't mind the look of this. Yeah, we'll take that. Trailing by four strokes. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th.
absolutely tattooed that one. Always nice when you're playing to the green from an elevated position. Seems to have chosen the three wood. As soon as that left the club, you knew it was going left. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. This would be a great up and down. lengthy putts John how do you see it well he's got about 22 feet to go here guys this one looking really good yeah, it's just about three feet away oh nice line and there it is Patrick Cantlay currently in the lead Our threes are always fun. See if he could knock it close. Go with a three wood here. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. And he needs this to save par. Oh, what a great stroke. And that putt drops. Now one under, heading to the stretch. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Nicely hold. Okay, let's get back to the action. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. <laughs> Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Wow, what a shot. 
Pretty good shot there. Trying to get to two under with this putt. This one has eyes for the hole. We can't make them all go tap it in. Just a simple tap in for par on this one. Patrick Cantley finds himself three shots clear of the field. We have a par four on this one. a few of the leaves going through there well rich i'm being honest this lie is putrid <laughs> yeah give yourself a pat on the back johnny mac what's the news well, guys, I'm over here on the 18th hole. This is Jim Furyk's next shot. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. And a par is all but guaranteed after that fantastic bunker shot. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. down that's birdie number seven on the scorecard and that will take him to two under our current leader is up by three shots here we have a long par four it's going to take two great shots to get on needs to make a move soon Setting up in the first cut. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Smart shot. Always back into the fairway as a safe play. And here we are with the third shot. That dog will hunt. Well, this putt will be a good one to hold for a round of 68. It's got a chance. That's all she wrote, folks. His work is done here. Well, that's a solid week, a top 10 finish for this player. Top 10s are always good, Luke. It gives you some confidence going into the next tournament. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HP Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the first stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Northern Trust is about to begin. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Bean, and we're at TPC Boston. Take us through this opening hole. Par 4, 365 for the backs. This is as simple as it gets. Players generally going with a long iron hybrid at the most. They're going to have a wedge for the second. The only place they can stick the flag on this hole on the left hand side or all the way in the back that will present any kind of challenges. An opening three here is almost required. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Second shot here on the first. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. John, uh, how long is this putt? It seems to be a fair way. I'm thinking 28 feet to the cup from here. Just didn't drop. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Well, that's disappointing, Rich. Getting underway over par. Yeah, well, you're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there would be birdies to come, no doubt about it. Well, very excited to get some playoff action here as it begins right now. And Rich, why don't you feel the people in at home just exactly what this FedEx Cup means to the players on the PGA Tour? It means that their body of work that they've done all year long is going to finally be rewarded. Now, the players that are on top of the list, they have a golden opportunity to win $15 million. And those players that still have work to do, there's an opportunity for them to make the final push to get in the top 30. But there's plenty of work to be done. So this really is a culmination of the entire year. And players look forward to that. They want to win the FedEx Cup playoffs. They want to be the champion. However, it's not an easy task, especially this time of the year with so much riding on the line. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? That's the spirit. Well played. Just go ahead and tap this in for birdie. And after this hole, that's how it looks. John, what's going on out there? Well, guys, I'm over on the 14th, uh, watching Jim Furyk set up his next shot. And this putt to move into the top five.
get in. And you hold it. What a monster. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Par three from the back tee measures 208 yards. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Got to be careful out there. It's danger. It's heading left, isn't it? Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, I'm down on the fourth hole, guys. This is Ian Poulter. And this putt is for birdie. And down she goes, the long-range bomb. And that will take him to one under. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Chance here, this one's for par. And down she goes. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. The fourth of TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Par four measures 298 yards from the back tee. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Well, this should affect the ball flight. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the fourth. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. Get excited. This could go in. Ooh, right by the hole. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. He finds himself currently tied for 12th. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. This hole here is a par four. Par four, 466 yards, dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one, you'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's gonna be a difficult two putt. That one's heading down Broadway. Second shot here on the fifth. Opting for the six iron. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for Birdie at the fifth. A spot in the all important top five awaits if you can hold this putt. Tracking. Well done. Take the Birdie. And with it, he moves to one under par. And JT is currently our leader. Here we are at the sixth hole. 
Par four, 465 yards from the back tee. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Opting for the five iron. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. John, do you have any info down there? Okay, I'm on the 18th hole, and Jim Furyk is just getting ready. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, almost went in. And back to the course with the live action. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. Wonderfully played. Six feet remaining to the cup. Not a bad line, this. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Currently one under for the event. Here we have a long par five. Par five that measures 600 yards from the back tee, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a great up and make it. Let's return to live play now. Second shot here on the seventh. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for seventh position. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, well played. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. A fair bit on the line here. Spot the top five. Oh, this looks pure. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Well hold. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. And it's worth taking another look at that one. current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead we've reached the eighth hole the tee is yours par three measures 213 yards and a diabolical green to say the least the left hand side sits much higher than the right hand side and the green is usually very firm a tough ask looks like they've got the five wood Nothing good out on the right-hand side, Luke. This headed for trouble. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. And coming up well short. Didn't that look good for a long time? And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands.
Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-shot lead. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Ninth hole, par four, 472 yards from the back tee. Bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. And choosing the eight iron here. Well played, mate. John, give us a small update. I'm down here on the 10th hole. This is Ian Poulter's next one. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that was pure silk. Well done. Okay, let's get back to the action. And this putt to move into a share of first. This one's looking good. Oh. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Just one off the lead after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Par four, just 425 yards on the card, but this hole plays so much more difficult than the yardage. Water to the left of the green, bunkers surrounding it on both sides. Find the fairway, you'll have a good look at making birdie. You miss the fairway, good luck. Fours, fives, and sixes coming to the equation. Oh my God, Rich. I don't even know who this player is. Look at this performance. Love stories like this. Let's hope they can handle the pressure and carry this home to victory by week's end. Going with the eight iron here. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Well done. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. If it's up, it could be in. Nicely hold. And for par. He's currently tied for third. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Going with the five wood. That's not the outcome they were after. Not taking enough club to get it there. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. We'll take a tap in any day for par. Time to take a look at Ian Poulter from earlier. Lining up for his third now. Well, I gotta say, something out of the top drawer on this shot. What a beauty. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. This hole is a long par four. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. 
those bunkers down the right hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls second shot is down the slope a big deep gaping bunker on the right hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls all in all just a tough hole to say the least getting ready to play their third and this effort by justin thomas well that's very crafty isn't it judging it beautifully let's get back to it shall we a couple under at this stage currently in fourth position opting for the five wood And approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Well, that's a handy shot. Big par saver coming up for this fella. Well hold. At minus two, going along nicely today. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Par four, 447 yards. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. And how about this highlight recently at the 14th? Ian Poulter with an outstanding shot here. Good stuff. Let's return to live play now. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Only one shot off the pace. to have opted for the eight iron no, this one's heading towards the rough i think this would be a momentum saver here getting this up and down if he makes this he'll save his par That line was looking good, wasn't it? This one's for bogey. And that puddle drop. Well done. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Par four from the tips, 495 yards. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. Good looking shot, this. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. 
Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Looks like they've got the five wood. Just a bit outside into the rough. And here we are with the third shot. Only a few shots off the pace. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, guys, he's got about 22 feet to the cup. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Par four, and a fun little par four at that, just 421 yards from the back. Fairly generous fairway, but a green that can provide some entertainment as there's some different swales in the green, and your golf ball can go a-wandering if you're not careful. How about this effort from JT just a little while ago? This is his third. Well, that was a beauty, right out of the top draw. Nicely played. Second shot here on the 15th. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Oh, good look at a birdie here. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And just a few holes remaining. Let's see what they can produce. Now three strokes back after that hole. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. Ting off here on the 16th hole. Par three, just 161 yards from the back. However, watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Ouch, that hurts. Big putt for Pye coming up. that currently two under for the event here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four 17 par four 412 yards dog leg from right to left second shot is down the slope lots of bunkers on this hole but should you avoid them and find this sliver of a green then birdie will be on your mind Wow, that was just striped. Come on, that finish line's in sight. Let's power towards it. Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Well, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. 
That starts off on a good line. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to three under. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Getting closer to that top spot on the leaderboard. This is getting interesting. This player faces the final hole of the tournament. Just one stroke off the lead. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Oh, that should find the bunker. This is an important up and down here, Rich. Just a shot back. They're having a bit of pressure out there. Let's see how they handle it. They need to get up and down from here. Just one stroke off the lead. A little excitement going on right now. And this would be a great power putt if he can make this. Looking better. It was on a good line. And this punt for a final score of 69. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. Rich, we didn't get the ultimate Cinderella story outcome that we wanted, but how much confidence is this player going to have after that performance? Listen, we're going to know this player's name for a long time. After that performance, didn't get the victory, but I tell you what, all eyes are going to be on this player going forward. What an attitude. What a finish. Love it. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.